While cameras were turned towards the winners and losers in the U.S. midterm elections, another battle was playing out at the ballot box, the issue of abortion rights, and voters from across the country largely signaled their support. In the battleground state of Michigan, voters passed a constitutional amendment that enshrines the right to an abortion, with support from 55 percent of voters. California and Vermont, by wide margins, did the same. And voters in deeply conservative Kentucky rejected a measure for a near-total abortion ban, just as Kansas voters had done with a similar amendment in August. The Kentucky vote has created a pathway for abortion access to be restored and services to resume at the state's two clinics. The ballot measure results and other Democratic victories in races that emphasized abortion across the country suggested that voters of all political stripes are balking at the severe abortion restrictions that several Republican-led states have enforced in the wake of the Supreme Court overturning Roe v. Wade. Well, I like to vote at every election, but I think especially this time, you know, it's about reproductive rights. Honestly, the abortion rights are really big right now. As a woman, I feel like it's really important to protect our health. So I think that... Political science professor Nathaniel Burkhead says voter outrage on the issue is something the Democrats should focus on leading up to the 2024 presidential election. I think you can't overstate the impact of abortion. I think that's the first thing for the Democrats is that uh, voters, the voters really are animated by those issues that they deeply feel. Like uh, inflation is something that people are understand and is real. But I think that something as as as, as fundamental as abortion is something that the, that the Democrats need to take heed of and really move forward with. Um, I think that uh, Biden will look at this result and say, hey, I we did OK. I should run again. But for now, abortion rights advocates are encouraged by Tuesday's results, with some telling Reuters the outcomes of the ballot questions, especially in Michigan, could set the stage for future state campaigns to proactively reinstate abortion rights.